Hey guys, in this video we're going to show you as part of the STEM Smart Home Teaching Kit by Apricot how to create um, a smart home device that can read uh, temperature and humidity. And to do that, we're going to use this uh, contraption device that we created in the first video, as well as this device here, which is called a DHT11. This is um, uh, an input sensor that can read temperature and humidity. So we're going to plug this up to the device. Now let's get started. So we also need three female to female jump wires to get this all connected. So what we do, is we get the red wire and we connect it to the positive. And remember, positive is VCC and negative is ground, which is also the black wire. So we're gonna plug that in. And we've got the data wire, which is the gray one. So let's plug that in according to the diagram. Okay, so let's just get that in. All right, so there we go. Now we need to plug this in to the board. By the way, this is the diagram. This is what it looks like. This is how we're going to wire up the whole thing. And now we're going to wire it up for real. So we get the end of the black wire, grab the uh, nano shield, Okay, if you could see, uh, we are going to plug it into a zero, analog zero, because we're going to get some analog readings using this sensor. So to do that, very simple, just plug black into G or black into ground, get the, uh, let's see, positive red into V for the voltage and and S for the data. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so we've plugged it up according to the diagram. Good, so we should have the display, the shield, the Arduino Nano on the top, and we now have the DHT11, which is going to take all the readings of the temperature and the humidity. Now, uh, we also need to plug this to the computer using the mini USB cable, which is connected to Windows uh, Windows 10 computer running M block three. All right, so there we go. Now, let's look at the code. So for the code, because this is going to be an Arduino program, we need to use this block. And just as a reminder, make sure you choose Arduino Nano and make sure you connect to com, uh, whichever COM port. Just connect serial port and just choose the COM port that is there. Um, if you want to see the code, you need to right click and upload and that's what you get. And uh, you press this button to upload the code to your Arduino Nano board. Okay, so let's Let's work on this. So first we want to initialize the DHT11, you know, get that ready for reading. Okay, and uh, we also want to initialize the screen using the uh, I2C. All right, so just keep the address the same. Uh, we also want to um, print the temperature and the humidity onto the screen. So let's do that. So I leave them away. I'm just just seeing what's on the display. So we want the first row to be temperature 25 and then backslash letter X, uh, capital D, capital F. We're trying to do the degrees C. So 20, so like for example, the temperature is a certain amount degrees centigrade or Celsius. And this one is going to be for humidity. Humidity is 50. Right now, let's go to the forever loop. So for the forever loop, um, because the DHT is connected to uh, analog A0, which um, is the same as pin 14. So we want to go to DHT 
So pin 14 is exactly the same as A0, and then A1 is 15, A2 is 16, A3 is 17, and so on. Okay, so there we go. Now we need a conditional statement. So we say, uh, for example, if the temperature reading is not equal to minus 999, so we need a equal operator. We also need a not. And in this box, type in 999. Oh, don't forget the minus. And we want to have DHT temperature. So we want the value of the temperature from the sensor. So let's get the block. Yep, this one. So put that in. All right, and let's just fill out the other blocks. Set cursor row for the I2C. Let's make sure we do this right. Uh, I2C LCD set cursor row zero column six. Uh, this one. I think what this does is um on the screen, you have to tell the you have to tell M block where you want the uh, writing on the screen to begin. So we start with row zero, column six, something something like that. Okay, let's keep going. And print number, decimal, all right? And I think, I think that's decimal point or something. Anyway, okay, next one. Uh, we want print number DHT11 temperature. So this one. And let's just put that there. All right, now instead of just uh, grabbing the blocks from robots, you could just right click and duplicate and you can just make a copy of that and just change the numbers. Just make that one and 10 for the next part. And we want to print the number. Instead of temperature, we want humidity. All right, and that's pretty much it. So that is the code. Oh yes, uh, we also need a delay time of two seconds. So just use that block and then just plot that at the bottom. And that should be the code that we need. Now let's upload it and just see what happens. And there we go. Okay. Sorry if you can't see the screen too well, but it says uh, temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. Humidity is 58 degrees. So if I were to say breathe on this, like say, um, if I just do that now. It's getting a little hotter. Yep, it's getting a little hotter. Uh, it is a little bit hot in this room, actually. Uh, and because I've breathed into this sensor, the humidity has gone straight up to 95%. So there we go. That is the um, smart home temperature and humidity reading device. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.